Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download and sign up for Google Classroom on your mobile devices. So this will work with Android, iPhone, whatever your mobile device is, it's going to be the same process throughout. So first of all, you're going to want to go to App Store, Google Play Store, whatever store you've got, click on there. And then you're going to want to go to your search bar and then you're going to want to type in uh, Google Classroom. Uh, all one word, one word is Classroom, it might all complete, so you can type that in search there. And then you can see here's like the little uh, little board there with Google Classroom next to it. For you, it should say Get. Uh, you're going to want to click on that Get. For me, it has a little cloud there because I've downloaded it before. But you want to click on that uh, and whatever it says on the uh, Android devices or whatever. And then it might come up saying uh, click Install. Uh, that might come up for you. But you're going to want to go ahead and download that. It's depending on your download speed, how long that's going to take. should only take a few seconds. And then when it's done, uh, you're going to want to go and click open here, or you can go onto the apps page and open it up. So you see I'll open there, click on that, or you can just go to your apps page and make sure it's downloaded. The logo is going to look like that as of right now. So you can go click on there. And then uh, once you've done this, uh, it's going to say uh, Google Classroom, like get started. You can also untick uh, at the bottom there, sign up for emails if you don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you're going to want to go ahead and click get started. And then now for you is to choose an account. Potentially for you, there will already be uh, accounts logged in there. Uh, so you can click on them and use those type of ones. Uh, but I've actually uh, kind of not shown my email there for obvious reasons. But uh, you can click on one of them and you can sign in like that. But if you want to like sign up completely, you can click add another account. And then uh, you can uh, sign in. And then uh, it'll say this there, sign into a potential account you've already got. Uh, this has not been there or you can actually create an account and uh, so all you got to do is click, uh, create an account for like, yourself or my business so depending on you click what you want for most people be for myself and you can type in go through there and all these different things here create a google account it's going to be very self-explanatory through here first name last name you can keep going next all the way through that i shouldn't need to explain it to you it's pretty self-explanatory once you click onto this part right here uh, but for uh, other people uh, you can uh, just click uh, for most of you, you will already have a Google account on your phone here. So you can either click one of those uh, Google accounts, whatever one you want to use. I'm going to choose this one right here. Uh, then I'm going to, um, it can take a few seconds to log in. And then it will say uh, classroom last sending notifications allow or don't allow. I'm going to don't allow. And then uh, once you're in here, it's pretty uh, simple. We already started here. You can click the plus in the bottom there if you want to join or create a class. Uh, so depending, so click on the join class there. Uh, ask for your teacher for this class code, then enter it here. You'll need to do that. And if you're like a teacher, you can create a class there and you can go for using classroom ID, whatever like that. You can click uh, I accept and then you continue uh, for this and then say your class name subject. You can go through here. It's pretty self-explanatory from here on out. So uh, that's how you do both of them. This is how you it's pretty much the settings screen uh, for all of this. You can go through and change all your settings, etc. from here. Uh, that's up to you for that. But leave a like on the video if that did help you out. Subscribe for more videos like this. Click on one of the how-to videos on the screen to see more videos similar. But that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.